you from Hawaii? Originally, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oahu. I was, I was born, born in Oahu. Big Island myself. Okay, Hilo. nice, dude. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. Not yeah, you guys are both Filipinos from Hawaii. Hawaii. All the, all the <laughs> Ilocanos come from Hawaii. Yeah, Ilocano, yeah, that's yeah. what I am. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, my mom knows Tagalog. But the rest of, Tagalog. The rest of the Filipinos are Tagalog here, but Ilocanos all come yeah, from Hawaii. Yeah, we're known as the dirt rat. Yeah. Filipinos. I'm gonna say this, guys. After Pearl Harbor, I wish that island was whites only. <laughs> really? They should have gotten everybody out of there. Because you know the reason that the Japanese had were so prepared for Pearl Harbor is because there was a Japanese guy living on Pearl Harbor who was a photographer who would go around the military bases, sending photographs, taking photographs, and then sending them to the Japanese Navy so they could map out. They had 3D maps what, what? of all of our battleships, all of our airfields, because of that guy. So what what race do you think is dominant? Because Hawaii's got like every race possible. If they're darker than me, get rid of them. No, I'm saying what race do you think is most dominant <laughs> in Hawaii? God. I hopefully the white one after my policies it's are passed. Everybody know? has a Japanese relative in Hawaii. Get rid no, of not them. me. Yeah, well, if, actually, I if do, we yeah, don't I do, want do. another yeah, act, you do or Korean of domestic Korean. terrorism. Yeah. We Japanese gotta or get. Korean. Do you guys yeah. as Asian guys are you on board with me here? But as, I don't know if they are. Dan. I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure if they want to get themselves off the island because of this new rule. I'm, I'm not on the island. Now. I'm no, not they're on the here, island. but they yeah. can't go back because of the new rule. That's right. That, I don't think they're gonna be on board with that. Leo is too sensitive well, of a well, naval well, My accent. question is, if if we were <laughs> if we were banging a white woman, would yes. we be allowed? Because, yes. Yes. But, correct. Okay, so uh, I'm, you guys I'm good. Both good. I'm fucking good. Let me let me specify. Let me clarify. As long as you are in the act of banging the white woman, yeah. you're allowed on the island. If That's you pull easy. out, yeah. then you got to go. Yeah, you can easy. kick rocks. You That's better easy. if you sh- like land on a plane you and, know, you, and you've got your. You know fucking... how you know like how Asian uh, white guys like Asian women. Yeah, yeah, it's the same way with white uh, with Asian guys. We like white women. Yes, mm, that's yeah. true. I like redheads. He's yeah. Jesse's girlfriend is positively stacked. I've said it yeah. before. Yeah, positively wow. stacked. Yeah, I think all races. Lo- I, you're off mic. Yeah, you're we, off mic. I get on the Patreon. Sorry, I uh, I have, I'm sorry. That was nothing personal. I just have a phobia of people asking questions off mic because they yeah, can't hear it. At it's home. a big phobia. Yeah, it's just for radio purposes. I'm a purist of my art. In uh, in about an hour, if you're down, you can, you can come over here. Yeah, come come you over. You can come over. You can come over. Grab my. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, all races other than white guys like white women because. It's your way of getting back at us for colonialism. No. Yeah, it is. You know what? Subconsciously. You know what, you know what it is for it's, me? it's revenge for the Philippines, dude. We you, took that shit, and you want to take my woman now. Dude, yeah, I, yeah, I, and I did. Listen, the hottest She's Asian fresh, I've yeah. ever <laughs> dated uh, in my life was in, uh, it was after I was uh, graduated college, and I went back to, to junior college. The good the good old days at yeah, yeah. Valley College. But That's, Is that how it's supposed to work? I don't never knew anybody <laughs> went from a, a four-year to a JC. Listen, it's an interesting transfer. You know what, man? If you live in LA and you don't take advantage of a, of a theater department with about 95% chicks, yeah. and you're just a random handsome guy that lives about 10 minutes away from the, the junior college and it's free for uh-huh. you if you don't take advantage of that it, you're gay you're gay yeah, yeah you know yeah, but, but anyway but here's the thing is if they look like you mm-hmm. and you do that you're not considered gay but if it's like me right. then they might wonder like is he gay you'd be getting so much tail in there yeah, Baron. You still, you show them so much tail. they'll know you're not no homo that's either. right dude <laughs> gay guys don't know diddy Gay guys don't. I've never heard of a gay guy getting shot. Is there? Is there a gay guy getting shot? I have never heard of it. Yeah, yeah, for real. In the history, do you think in the last hundred years, how many gay guys been shot? Zero. I I juicy Smollett. The biggest. Juicy Smollett was. (laughs) But he didn't get shot. He was get shot. He He pretended to be get shot. It was proven that it wasn't. the the that's racist, guys. Don't say that's racist. I would say that the biggest predictor of not getting shot is liking cock. Yes. Really? Yeah, I think so. It's like, you know, for fucking people, for skin so, uh, cancer. So what I should have said, stop. I want to suck your dick. Don't shoot me. Yes. They yeah, would have been, been good. They would have been down. They uh, would have probably, yeah. it would have helped your chances. This yeah, happened in March. Where were you guys before this? They man. were confused young boys. <laughs> they were definitely confused young boys. They might have gone for that. <laughs> On March 8th, gunman who killed a gay man at dog park is charged with murder after delay. Damn arrest. it. This was March tw- March eighth. I year? never thought it was possible. Oh, I never that possible. That's an anomaly, not the. That's crazy. The yeah. gunman was probably his gay uh, lover. January tenth. It's like you Cancels bastard. Yeah. You ran off with Ken, right. and you guys, you knew him at the gym, and you Correct. said you were just friends. Right. <laughs> uh, January tenth, gay bagel shop owner shot dead. 
BS. Well, because he probably loaded the bagels with something that he shouldn't. Yeah, have. he probably shouldn't have been jizzing in the batter. All right, making the bagels with his cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect size. Hole. Perfect oh, size. Yeah, oh, yeah. I just want to point out, you sat down on the couch and you're making <laughs> comments now with the mic in your pocket. <laughs> That's can can I can I say something on Jesse's uh, inauguration sure. for the Leo and Danny show? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no more Japanese on th- Hawaii. Was, there was two gold medals from the Philippines in the Olympics. What? Thank you. Olympics. Thank you. That's right. Now we got a, a Pinoy here on the Leon right. Danny show. Yes. So representing the We're Philippines. We're taking over the world. Hey, yes. Filipinos. There you go. Yeah. We're taking over. The- you guys yeah. know that the Filipinos actually are like the only people who's never like uh, – like imperialized other people they were yeah. nice dude we, they're nice we get imperialized yeah. we never, all the time yeah, yeah. We, we don't we, we don't go out con- conquered by the spanish the, yeah the spanish, spanish really the chinese the chinese the yeah. japanese the by king philip I, first of all i don't believe you there's got to be some group somewhere that has nah. never nope. conquered any nope. nah, the filipinos nope. are dope filipinos. never have okay. so leo you know every group of humans the only, all over the only the globe, thing i have conquered is their conquest history are you looking for your zins bud no i wish i don't have any zins right now listen you're right i don't i can't like look through the what like you're saying like I don't, you know, even the history that we've been told, how do we even know that that's 100 percent? You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. agree. Mm-hmm. So I, agree. I don't I, you're right. I shouldn't even say anything with a, I can't really almost say anything with complete confidence in this world nowadays, except for like, I get Why not? Pussy, you know what I mean? Why that's not? for sure. I can't say that with any confidence. You're you guys got to be more like right, him. OK, he had confidence. Me. Yeah. Well, you guys com- got to be more like confidence. him. I will hit you in the temple. Let's you, get back to the Philippines, though. I want to okay. know how are the Philippines for sex tourism? Oh, um, Dude, Filipinos are sluts. Yeah. Those really? Filipinos yeah. are sluts. Dude, dude. Lauren, you want to you get Filipino? pegged? So the dude. only reason I want to get pegged, what? It's a Filipino. I'm dude. gonna tell yeah. you right now. I hooked up with an Asian. My favorite yeah. Asian was in, in Valley College. It was, Leo's her name was Lauren, drunk, dude. I am a little bit, but let me tell you about Lauren because I never get uh, to talk about her. Uh, well, okay? uh, you know, this Lauren. is the same thing we drank last time, Leo. Just so you know. I know. I remember you. You yeah. brought these bad boys. They're good, dude. Thank They're you. They're really yeah. good. Thank you, bro. Good. Thank you, bro. Oh, pills. Um, yeah, I've had a few brown. beers. Uh, Lauren uh, was a Filipino a woman, sure the only Asian I've ever dated. Um, she had uh, a Latina's body, mm-hmm. and then she Is was that a Asian. Thing? No, like she had a phenomenal ass. Okay, mm-hmm. like she was. She ran track in high school. Uh, Her ass yeah. was insane. Yeah, yeah, like crazy. Like some yeah. Filipino girls. Because they're mixed with Spanish. Yep. Yep. They get asses that are like, you don't see in the Asian community. She looked yeah. like a Latina, like thick booty BBL Latina back in the day when yep. they it didn't, BBLs didn't even exist. And, and they uh, probably I, love America. You guys want to right? know a Filipina hack? If her last name sounds Spanish, that's the one you want. Yep. And no, if, one of them. if you go over there and you're just wearing like an American flag baseball cap and you've got a New York Yankees oh, jersey. Danny. How easy is it going to be? Uh, pro- uh, probably easy. I've never been. Well, you, you're going to be pretty easy. Just yeah, you white. you're white. Yeah. Like, uh, so guess it, who, it's uh, like, Danny, guess who went? Uh, my yeah. acting teacher. Hey, he dude, took for a trip quick... to the Philippines. Oh, uh, yeah. About 20 years ago. And uh, yeah. the stories he told me about the Philippines yeah. as a uh, six foot two white man. OK, well, let me just yeah. tell you, buddy. Well, well, probably be here's good. the thing. Most Americans are, are very sheltered. They don't realize what women are like the, uh, across the rest of oh, the that's world. That's true, huh? Like yeah. Western women garbage right Probably. like i last yeah. podcast we're talking well, about yeah, you've had good like, experiences. i'm the asian i'm like you guys nicknamed me the asian 50 cent but you yes. also told me i'm like the asian andrew tate the reality Correct. is western women don't know what the game is the rest of the world the yes. women are completely different and yes and philippines yeah they they top it all they they really? cater you they're submissive they understand what it is like to take care of a man yeah. so that's the difference right like so and then also we the playing field is leveled when you're born in America because everybody you're competing with is an American for the most part. Right. But being a, an American in the Philippines yeah. is like being a regular size person novelty. in the land of munchkins at yeah. Oz. You're a novelty. Yeah. Well, you're not more than a novelty. Like if that girl fucking gets your seed, she's going to like she gets to leave. Well, the island. She's gonna, waging is a terminology. Her water is not going to be contaminated yeah. by sewage. Yeah, that's okay. First of all. Well, you, you, what, <laughs> oh, why are you making now, these now, assumptions? Now, right. Why are you making these assumptions? Five dollars an hour. That's right. You have no information. Now. How are you making now. these assumptions? You cocksucker. Okay, okay, for a lot of the underdeveloped world, there are parts of the Philippines that are tragically underdeveloped, yeah. and literally there probably is sewage in the water. And fucking Tijuana, for fuck's sake, there's sewage in the water. Yeah, but then, have you guys you, heard the, of but, Pog Pog? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Filipino thing. Okay, that's pug, good. At pug. least it's somewhat on top. I've heard it. Yes, I have. Pog pog, you know what that is? Yeah, I don't it's know. Like where you just I've like... heard the the term, but I don't know what it dude, is. Dude, I completely forgot what your dick looked like. <laughs> <laughs> go back up there, dude. Uh, go stage. back up there. I know now, you're, but... you're probably trying to like very much. 
<laughs> well, I was, wish Brooks was here, then he could actually paint it. Yeah, Brooks yeah. says oh, a great painter of cock. Yeah. He should do that. He should do that on his on pa- like a Patreon. Yeah, yeah, we should actually have him. <laughs> like, have a, this is the first the top three penises. Top three penises. Top three penises. Yeah. Number yeah. them, right? Like yeah. he did it with Pokemon. He numbered each one. I'm not gonna lie. Right? He, he had a good penis. It wouldn't be as. What would you name his cock? Yeah, yeah. If it was a Pokemon. No, we should all have a line. We should have a lineup. Retractable Hudo. Slowpoke. No. Retractable hoodo? Yeah. Uh, that's funny. Dude. That's uh, Danny, you know, I, I just want to say that you might want to stop saying things about other countries, which is co- such confidence, because you did say that the all of the people in Tijuana shit in buckets and throw it out a window yeah. in a video <laughs> with that. a lot of hits. I don't know that that's the right thing. That I don't think that happens. I'm, I'm not curious. sure that everyone is shitting in buckets <laughs> and then going, hey, hey fucking you're open right. the window, man. You're I right. just took a shit, man. Yeah. Come on. You're like, you're no. like, no, no, this is what happens. Hey, I, I do apologize because they don't all shit in buckets. And the ones who don't, they're like, hey, Jose, you shit me in a bucket? Where did you get that? <laughs> I just shit on the floor, man. Okay, you are a piece <laughs> of crap. So you're saying that other people in Mexico shit on the floor, the ones that don't have a, a bucket, window? A like, what? what is it about them? So wait, you're the saying ones with the buckets are like the bu- ones who live in Bel Air here. Oh, my God. Okay, they're at the top of Mexican society. You're saying and about the commoner, the, if he's just like, you know, Leo, just because you're shitting on the floor right now, that's middle class. They can work Baron, their way up. Baron, let me ask you Leo, this. Leo, Leo my, my, my question is like, yeah. No I, I would pistol. believe Danny if he can show me the stamps in his passport. Yeah, I know. He hasn't been to fun. I've well, been to did. Mexico we did plenty be, of times. Yeah, we went to Mexico. And we almost got jumped immediately. We almost did get Going killed. to Revolution I, Street that, that in, in Tijuana doesn't count as going into Mexico. Come on. Now. I, I would it probably was. I would agree in a way, but it was dangerous. Yeah, and I would dangerous. say, I've never, dude, I have never felt as unsafe as I Can did I tell you a Tijuana story? Sure. Sure. Uh, a, a good sure. friend of mine, we were we were living in Vegas at the time, and he never been laid. So I wanted to take him to Tijuana because I know nice. down on Revolution Street, you know, it's not Hong too Kong. much. Yeah, yeah, I can get him laid. And the first thing he asked me was, is it okay for me to to kiss my prostitute? Oh, my God. No. <laughs> I wanted to kiss a prostitute. I said, only if you really like her. Right, yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> you said that to him? <laughs> Dude, you, oh my God! Well, you know, there's been a couple of cocks maybe in her mouth, but hey, but go ahead, Dave. This, this has been a fratty episode. Yeah, dude. it has. It's been pretty fratty. It but has. how been... is it that me, you, and a guy that got shot nine times by a couple of high school kids, but hired by his wife? How do we get along so well? I don't know. Jesse Three... took us is bringing the vibes. Today, He's dude. Jesse's how killing many us. Thank strains you, of herpes. Yeah, don't forget to. I would this say this dick. guy. You are ruining the vibes tremendously. <laughs> But in a way, it's kind of like making him. I'm good. calling yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, it's I'm even making him, him better. Yeah, Man, it's weird. His yeah. name is Red Bull from now on. Yeah, hey, yeah I, you are Red Bull. He's Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, he's Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull. Bro, Red what a great nickname. That's a great nickname. Yeah, That's a great nickname. Yeah, I, I'm That's not going to move, we'll go to but I'm going to I'm going to take some friends and let's go see the world. Yeah, let's go know. to the Philippines. Yeah, let's, and let's go. Let's hey, Philippines, go. Costa Rica, Thailand. Listen, I mean, there's so many places. Baron, I just want to say, if I end up with you in the Philippines oh. and I don't have family, I don't have much of a job or anything. We're going to have fun in the Philippines. You know why can, we're going to have fun? Yeah. Your height alone is going to get us so much clout. I've heard. I've heard. And his paleness alone would get us so much clout. I heard, uh, yeah. I heard stories from the guy who cuts my hair. He uh, is friends with a bunch of basketball players, and a certain NBA legend used to go out to the Philippines. I know who he is. Uh, yeah, you know who he is. And it starts with a W. Uh, I'm not gonna say, <laughs> but he'd go out to the Philippines with a really rich woman, and the two of them would just party. And this married NBA player would just rip through Filipino girls. Yeah. Like edamame. <laughs> it's uh, you could probably uh, figure you probably it out could pick him up. He probably could pick them up like edamame too. He probably could. Yep. Yeah, yep. he was a big guy. Yeah, uh, I'll say what I mean, dude. That wouldn't be the worst life. Yeah, I I could go out. I could do that for forty years. I think yeah. I could do that for four. No, I 40. could do that for three or forty. Forty years, years? yeah. Forty. That's well, a, I mean, that'd be a funny financially. Uh, line. Financially, yeah. it'd be that easy. For three forty years. That's think funny. about it. Financially, it'd be easy. The conversion rate from the Philippines to American what dollar. I mean, it's crazy. Like you, you could get like a house for a hundred bucks yeah, a month. It's wild. Bro. With what? with what? with all the for, services, and bro, we're talking a cook, bu- a cleaner, and everything. Okay. Hundred twenty bucks right? for rent. Okay. And then and then if you want a nice bucks. place, yeah. Dude, nice place. place. We're talking full bro, right next to the beach. What, what's a thousand bucks a month get you? 
province. Uh, you get the, the whole harem. You get the whole harem. <laughs> you become prime yeah. minister. You so become you, the Manny Pacquiao of the wow. Philippines. Yeah. That, dude, and, yeah, yeah, and can we to, live right next to Manny Pacquiao? Uh, I'm only going if I live next door to Manny Pacquiao. That house is about $20. Yeah. <laughs> There's in the, in the, in the book uh, Catch Twenty Two. There's a guy Milo who's like the profiteer yeah, 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 of yeah. the war, yeah. and he goes around and he's just like the market manipulator, and he's like sells all the goods. And there's a passage about that that's basically making that joke that he just becomes the prince of all these undeveloped nations because yeah. he has any kind of money or resources. And in one country in Africa, there's a stone portrait of his face with his mustache, just looking all silly, right. and then beneath it is just covered in human blood. Because it is sacrifice local people to him all the time, just because uh, he like brings them beans and has yeah. money. Oh but that's that's the, that's, that's the thing. The idea. That's the same. Like people don't understand. Like if you lived in America and you've not, never gone anywhere else, you don't know what the rest of the world looked like. Right. No. All all you're told is what media is propagating. Correct. Yeah. Like Correct. there's a guy I was watching on YouTube. He says, "Don't come to Russia," and they're talking about all the reasons you shouldn't come to Russia. But the reality is that satire, like. You want to go to Russia, like yeah. you know, because our country is not what we. I mean, yeah, think Tucker about. Tucker did a good expose yeah, on Russia. Sure. It, it looked it, it the the vlog he did in Russia. Oh, the women are gorgeous. But I mean, dude, talk about white women. It's one, it's I have a weakness for, for, for fucking uh, Russian. Russian women. Well, yeah, let's oh. ask this guy. What do you think about racism, dude? Well, I, I just well, want to say, well, first of all, Russia. You can legitimately get thrown in prison for fucking nothing in Russia, though. Yeah, but depends. I mean, you the can girl, do it yeah. here. Look at what they're doing to our boy Donald Trump. That's true, but I mean, fucking. I mean, he is the. Look what happened. What they're doing to you, dog. Look yeah. what they're doing to That's you, dog. Compared, 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 yeah, compared you to you're Tennessee, hey, you're in jail. To you, dog. Exactly, compared bro. to a fucking immigrant who came here and raped bro. a fucking girl and Thank didn't you. get any jail time. Yeah. What about every single yeah. dude? Wait, is that, that true? Exactly. Yes. That is wow. true. Dude, what about, about every yeah. single guy that robbed uh, the CBS bl- exactly. the CBS blind? You guys in live San in a fucking yeah. state right now where fucking people can just loot and shit. Bro, there's a story. But if you're white, you're fucked. Yeah, right now. Uh, I just, I Russia, I wouldn't, I don't think Putin would find our antics all that funny. No, well, they stopped oh, the, they stopped that's the melt from coming there. It just yeah. depends on, it just that's depends on like, yeah, you're, you're allotted some freedoms, but the, the reality is the freedoms that we're given, there's a lot of freedoms that were taken from us as well. Like people don't understand that. Like we live in America, but we got our government on our fucking throat, basically. Right I, now, I hate know? the fucking government. The set, yeah. my biggest win recently was the census guy came to my door once and wanted to know some stuff. I just said, no, I don't want to talk to you. And he kept, he came by five separate times because he had to get information on my house. And I just never talked to him or gave him any information. I, the government are fucking assholes. Dude. Well, yeah, dude. But I, I appreciate what we have in this country though. Right. And our way of life. And generally things work as they should. So, Trump should not be getting persecuted no. by the deep state and his political enemies. Danny Mullen should not be being persecuted. I shouldn't have been shot nine dental. times. I think you should have been shot a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, here. In all, in all if you're not getting shot at, you're not doing it.